Hey Scrappy, it's time for another YouTube video. What do you think? You've been following all this game, do we know stuff I've been doing? You're really excited about it, aren't you? Ah, oh, well this is my my buddy cat. He's a real sweetheart. But that's not what you're here for. You can get cat videos on the internet anywhere. It's time to talk about my Arduino Game Duino satellite tracker. That's right, go back to sleep, Scrappy. And here's my satellite display. Uh, since I've probably shown it off last, I've changed it to a color display. So it's just green and blue, but it looks pretty nice. And I'm now plotting the location of the ISS for the next two hours. Down here in the bottom right, if I can get beyond the glare, you can see a little dot where uh, the red dot, which doesn't show up super well, but uh, shows up much better on the monitor. Uh, right off the coast there of uh, Australia and it's moving slowly and heading toward uh, its ultimate destination. Anyway, the dots will show the path over the next two hours. Um, on its next pass, it'll actually pass very closely over my house here in El Sobrani, California. And uh, that's pretty much it. It shows the uh, suborbital latitude and longitude and it's all computed on the Arduino. Uh, no, no shell game or anything. I ported my own library for doing the Plan 13 algorithm uh, so that it could uh, be used on the Arduino. It took a little bit of work because the data types on the Arduino are small. You need to use longs in order to get 32-bit ins. Uh, doubles and floats are the same, so you need to be a little careful about truncation error and a couple of calculations. But about an hour's worth of debugging and I got it going. It's really actually only about mm, 350 lines of code, so it's not a lot. All being computed here on the Arduino with the help of this little real-time clock chip that I got from SparkFun. My future ideas are to uh, load more than one satellite and maybe put a little uh, rotary encoder down here so that you can swap between them, have a little bit of a user interface. And I want to actually put a Zigbee board on it so I can network it so that when I get new updates for the orbital elements for satellites, I can send them quickly to the uh, Arduino without having to hook it up to a cabling or move it anything anywhere. And I've never done anything with Zigbee before, so that's kind of cool. But this is my project. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. When I'm done, I'll definitely post all the code. Since I wrote it all, it'll all be uh, under a BSD uh, license of some sort. Uh, the only thing you'll have to do is just credit uh, any derived works back to me, and uh, I'd certainly love to hear if anybody else uh, found the code of any use. But uh, this has been Mark Van Watering, Brainwagon Blog.